on last week's episode of the Dog Club. This week on the Dog Club, basically like the simple signs of depression. How do we get this, these negative thoughts out of our mind? Recently, just dropped like for real, for real. The shower that y'all need to do, that y'all need to put in to become the woman God has called you to be, is in the journey. What is up, dolls? Welcome back to another episode of Doll Club. Let's get straight into this episode. It's gonna be a little bit different, you guys. I'm not creating anything this time, but I am telling you guys how I became the creative I am today and a few things I've learned along the way. Not gonna lie to y'all, the journey has been a rough ride, but it's well worth it. And I hope you guys take some of my tips. So the first tip I have for you guys is unplug the noise. So what is noise? The constant thoughts in your head that you're hearing, like negative thoughts, uh, good thoughts, any thoughts. There's just constant thoughts that's ringing throughout your head. The, thing that's, the things that's always flowing throughout your head, that is considered to be noise. It really can affect how you show up and what you do. Waking up every day, wanting to go out with friends, wanting to do activities. Uh, basically like the simple signs of depression. So now that we know what noise is and how it distracts our mind, how can we cancel out this noise? That's our main goal, so that we can hear God clearly, straight path, we know what we're doing, we're on the right alignment. How do we get this, these negative thoughts out of our mind? One thing or practice I do to unplug from the noise is yoga, but I'm gonna get into like physical movement things like further down the line. But another thing that I do, practice mindfulness, stillness, just getting closer to myself is journaling. And I recently just dropped, well, I haven't dropped yet. By the time y'all watch this video, the journal will be dropped. But I'm recently dropping my first journal, Sis Learn Self. And she is basically a journal that will guide you as a woman to learning yourself. Questions that you need to ask yourself that you've never really thought about asking yourself. The questions are in here, y'all. Like, for real, for real. The shower that y'all need to do, that y'all need to put in to become the woman God has called you to be, is in the journal. I've been using this journal, and it's really been showing me, like, reminding me of things that I forgot about a long time ago, such as, like, Girl Scout memories and how it's really molded me to be the woman I am today. One thing, cool thing I realized about Girl Scouts was the whole time we had the Girl Scout Law, the Girl Scout Promise, it was all affirmations that were building me at that age. Like it was fundamental for me to say those things to myself, say those things daily, say those things every time I met with my sisters. Like it literally shows, when, let me show you how these shadow work journal works. The question, I got off track. The question is, what advice would you give to the childhood you? So that's the first question in my journal. What it made me realize was Girl Scouts had like a big, big impact on my life. I am responsible for what I say and do. I respect myself and others. Like saying things like that at a young age, it really didn't I was saying the law at the time. But as I grew up and I grew into the person that I am today, I really practice these and value these. My values, these are my values, these are my beliefs. It became a part of my life. So I'm just gonna show you that that's something that the Shadow Work Journal did for me. It showed me that Girl Scouts really molded me to be the woman I am today. So it's detrimental, y'all that we watch what we say because like it literally manifests into our life. So we have to watch what we say. So make sure you're saying the right thing. Cut out the negative people. Anybody around you just making you feel like you can't do what you feel like you could do, they don't need to be around you because they ain't growing nothing. They ain't even doing nothing for themselves. Why do they need to be around you? Tearing you down. A lot of people really don't know or like think small of or don't even think of is like when we fall asleep to like scary movies or like move scenes that have like a lot of a lot of violent action and we fall asleep to these things our subconscious mind is still hearing these things it doesn't matter that you're not awake your spirit is awake you be mindful to what you're listening to what you're feeding your soul. Pay attention to what the songs that you listen to. Pay attention to what they're saying, but words are powerful. It don't matter if it's a song, it's still being said. Okay, so what is the outcome from unplugging the noise? And clarity, you can really understand what God is telling you to do in the moment instead of like having your own plans and being frantic and always being 
fearful you can walk you start to walk more boldly more confidently you surrender your control and you let god you know god handle everything that's what's supposed to happen anyway when we started putting our foot in there and trying to do everything our way mm -mm, that's when stuff start going up need to go right topic number two is get the body moving it is essential y'all essential that we get our body moving especially being a creative if you work at home work from home you tend to sit down in one spot or you tend to be in one spot for a long period of time and that's really not good for our body we need to keep our bodies moving we need to keep our bodies active as children we always did activities we played games we ran around we did all these things but as adults we grow older we don't play games, we don't go outside, we don't do these things. We are growing every day. It needs bones, everything it needs to be right. So a way that I get my body moving, because I'm not a big exercise person right now, I'm gonna get better, but just being honest with myself, transparent moment, I don't wanna exercise. So honestly, what I've been doing is yoga and it's been getting my body right. I don't know how to explain what really yoga does for me, but it makes my body feel very warm and loosens me up, like it gets me ready for the day. I really love yoga. I'll do a video on how to do yoga poses and everything morning yoga so I'll just do yoga to start my day so that my bones and body is warmed up after sleeping for the night things that yoga can do for you is it relieves stress reduces high blood pressure increases the blood flow how I feel during yoga I feel like really chill at peace like the best time I know that I'm doing like yoga correctly effectively I can say I can be in a pose and that pose can be like very, very tense for me. Like very tight, a very tight position. Take a deep breath and then blow out. And I ease into the position more. It just makes my body feel like it's loosening up. That's just how I feel. Is if you're not lazy like me, you can't exercise. You can start off doing like beginner exercises, at home exercises. You can always look on Google, look up these things on Pinterest. They have good like exercises for the things that you specifically want to build on or like build less of. So into that, just need a little bit of movement throughout your day so you can still stay focused and stay full of creativity and allow your creativity to flow. Another thing that is important for creatives is that it's important that we get sunlight. Being in the house all day ain't it. I'm sorry, we can do it, we love it, but being in the house all day is not it. We need sunlight, so yeah. Topic number three is do passion projects. I cannot stress this enough to you guys. You guys need to do passion projects. So you need to do passion projects because it'll keep you motivated to doing projects for you. Projects for not just everybody else that needs your talents, but you feed your soul too with your lovely talents. So do projects for yourself, things that get your creativity flowing, just projects that you just look at and you're like, I want to do this. A passion project is something that you do completely off, but you just wanted to do it, you don't get paid for it. It's just something that you simply want to create because you just want to. Strongly, strongly, strongly encourage passion projects because it gets you out of your creativity shell. It just makes you want to tap into different things and just shows you what you can actually make. Another tip that I didn't even write on my tips list, it's important that as a creative, a creative that is an entrepreneur and that's making services for like other people and their businesses, it's important that we keep our ideas at a minimum. It's mainly supposed to be what our client wants. So if you're a creative and you're giving a little bit too much insight, it can kind of turn you into the wrong direction because it's not what the client wants, it's more of what you want. So that's why I say do passion projects. This gives you a chance to make projects and do stuff for yourself so that you can put in your designs and your ideas into something and don't feel like your ideas are getting neglected. That one, that one was a... <laughs> Tip number four is avoid burnout. As a creative, as an artist, y'all know we experience burnouts like no other we are literally like we'll have this creative flow that's so so good it be all these ideas coming in then it could be one month two months three months we don't have no ideas create a schedule for ourselves we give ourselves grace we create discipline within because if we do not put ourselves on a set schedule and implement time for breaks then we will eventually burn out do not forget to eat when you're working Y'all, I don't even know why I'm telling y'all this because I forget to eat all the time. But do not forget to eat because it is serious. I know you deep into your project, you deep into whatever you're doing, 
but got nutrients because we can't do nothing without the nutrients. How are we gonna make, make the project? We don't even got no energy. When you take these breaks for yourself, I recommend that you do like a quick little stretch. You can do like a one-two arm. You can do end up your legs. You can go for a walk. I just recommend that you don't sit in one spot all day. Like, y'all, I don't know how much it goes through my head, but I feel like I sit in one spot all day. I'm go I'm gonna literally have arthritis right now. That's how I be feeling. Like I work on the computer all day, and I just be like, no, I need to get up and I need to move my body around because I feel so freaking stiff. The only thing that be moving is my fingers. Okay, number five on the tips. Walk boldly into the things that make you uncomfortable. I know this sounds like, why Why would I do that? If it's making me uncomfortable, I should stay furthest away from it. But no, the God honest truth is anything that makes you uncomfortable is there to grow you. Like, essential that we walk into the things that make us scared. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true, for real, for real. Thank God for confidence because I know where we're going to even be able to... Step into the things that he has for us without his strength and confidence and boldness. Do not allow fear to win. 30 years from now, fear that you hold on to now will like your future all the way then. Like, I'm so serious. You decide not to do drop the book. If you decide not to start the podcast. If you decide not to write the movie. Y'all, I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to tell y'all, but it's detrimental that you do not let fear stop you from following your goals. Like there is so much positive overflow, abundance, growth on the other side of fear. Fear is a barrier, you have to break through it. But it's abundance on the other side, okay? Six is develop discipline. So this is probably like one of the hardest ones on the list for a creative that is just getting to know themselves, earn income on their own because I'm gonna tell y'all like firsthand, I am a creative who just started to earn income on her own, like with set boundaries. And you have to set boundaries for yourself because with this business, nobody tells you what to do. You are your own boss. Literally, your hours is what you make your hours. <laughs> the work that you do is literally the work that you give yourself to do. The clients that come in are the clients that you attract to yourself. Nobody is bringing these things to you. You need to make sure you're disciplined is on point develop self routines for yourself try to wake up i don't be too this is where grace comes in too i give myself a schedule but i also give myself grace so yes i have discipline but i'm not beating myself up when things don't get done because that is bad self-care you, you don't care about yourself if you're beating yourself up like that you have a set structure plan of how you want your days to go but you also have to be optimistic to what god is leading you to do so you cannot be like, okay, this is my set plan, nothing else can happen. No, you have to, yes, set a plan, you have to be ready, you have to be in order. God likes when you're prepared. But you also have to be open to what he's trying to do. My last tip is consistency. This is going to be my first year really, really showing up for myself. I made the, the promise to myself that I am going to drop a dog club video every Friday at 6 p.m. And that is consistency. No, it's not a video every single day. No, it's not overwhelming, but it's at my pace. And I know that at this time, every single Friday, I'm going to have a video job because I'm building that consistency within myself and within my platform. Baby steps. Getting stuff done like every single day instead of trying to do everything in one day and then you burnt out the next day. It's better if we just take small baby steps to our goal. Keep on taking baby steps. That will ultimately get you to your big step. That's it, guys. That wraps up this week's episode of Dog Club. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and could take some pointers. As being a creative, it can get hard and frustrating. So I hope these tips helped you guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to become a doll, a sisterhood for creatives. I'm going to tell you guys how to be interactive with your journal, app store. Go to Cola Note. C-O-L-L-A-N-O-T-E. App is like a digital journal. So I know that they have it for, um, I'm not sure if they have it for Android users. But I will try to find something for you guys to also use the PDF as well. What you'll do is at the bottom, it has quick notes, new note, import PDF, new folder, and settings. What you need to go to is import PDF. And after you get the PDF from um, your purchase, it'll just it'll come in PDF form. So what you'll do is you'll go to PDF, you'll insert your PDF, and it'll basically 
write into your journal just like a book that you have like yeah you can just write on it you can highlight circle you can add stickers add photos it's a really 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 good app here as well with my pdf journal so when you make your purchase don't forget to get the app and let me know how you like your journal